Hey guys, in this section what I want to talk about is static pages. Um, there's a bunch of different ways you can implement static pages on a Ruby on a Rails on Ruby site. Um, one being you could use the public directory. Um, you could create a controller for each page and a view for each page. Um, you could create a single controller called maybe a page controller that will um, where you can add different views to um, and you can also create a page controller and have it interact with the database and actually have your pages have the content in the database and fetch it for the for the front end um, what I'd like to do is create a single controller a page controller and and have uh, different um, views for that controller and we can do that, we can see by going to the HTML temp that we created, we're going to have an about, a contact, and a resources page. So I'd like to implement a, a something called page controller, and then have an about view, a contact view, and a resources view. Um, because it is a blog and I don't think, we don't need to create a whole CMS, so we don't need to have the page content in the database. So let's go to our folder which is in C Drive sites my Ruby blog and if we go into app and we go into controllers we can create a controller actually well we should probably do this via command line actually yeah so let's let's go to a command line All right, so I'm going to go to the C drive sites, my Ruby blog. Whoop. Sorry about that. I don't really like this command line interface. All right, so we're in the my Ruby blog folder. So let's. Um, Rails G. Let's generate a controller and call it. Um, and let's just do uh, pages. So we're going to generate a pages controller, and we want an about view. We want a contact view. And. in a what was it resources resources view all right so now if we go back you can see we now have a pages controller so let's open that up let me let me get rid of this stuff So it gave us these three actions, and it also should have gave us the views. If we go to pages, we have about contact and resources. Now, just having these actions defined is actually good enough. Um, so let's go to the about view, and you can see we can go to now we can go to pages about so that's our about page we can go to contact it's our contact page so it's very easy now I know you don't want people to have to type in pages slash contact you want just contact and we can do that very easily through the routes file so if we go to our my Ruby blog folder and then config and then routes so we can just do this. We can do a match. We can do match. And we want to put the the name that we want to add if we want to go to the about page, which would just be about. So about and then we want to put in 
two. And it's going to go to pages about. Okay. So that should do it if we save this and then we go to just slash about. And it takes us to the about page. Now, if you don't do that, then I mean, you can see if we want to go to contact, it gives us an error. But all we need to do is add it in our routes. We'll do the same with resources. 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 All right. So if we save that, go back and reload. We're at our contact page, resources, we're at the resources page. Okay, so now we can actually add some content. Um, I don't think, yeah, we don't have any static pages set up here. Um, but actually, let's just go to, let's put some sample data in. Generate some lorem ips ipsum. So we'll just say about my Ruby blog, and we'll just have some filler content here. So if we save that and go back to about, so now we have some content. So it's, I mean, that's just one way you can implement static pages. Um, this is the way I would suggest if you have, you know, two to maybe eight, nine, ten pages. Um, any more than that, then you might want to think about having a CMS um, and having having stuff put in the database for your pages. But that's what we're gonna do here. Um, yeah, so that looks good. Uh, next thing we need to do is we need a menu. Now I know I had, I had showed you how to create different layouts. Uh, if we go into app and then views and layouts, we created a home and a post layout, but I'm actually gonna get rid of those for now because I just want to have one main layout for now at least. We might do some partials later. Uh, so if we go and we go to, um, let's just go to the home page. Uh, so now this application.html.erb is the layout for the whole and for the entire site. Now to create a menu for something like this, we have some static pages the post page, we're just gonna create a menu right in right in here, okay? Um, and we're gonna, in the next section, we're gonna implement the styling, um, but I just wanna add in a, um, a menu here. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put a div tag here. And I wanna create an unordered list menu. And I'll just give this a class of main nav, which might change later on. And then some li. Actually, we're not gonna, you know what? We're gonna use Rails menu, the way that to use Rails menu structure. I'm not gonna use um, a tags. So we'll have the home page, um, about blog, um, contact resources. So now we want to open up. I actually should have put the tags in there too before I copied and pasted. And they're all going to have link to. Okay, so the first one is going to be 
home and that's going to go to so home and for this we can use the root path and then we have the about page and that will go to that can go to the about path okay and then we have what do we have blog and that should be um, post path and um, contact we can say contact path and finally we resources um, resources path all right so let's check that out all right so we have a syntax error and it looks like I forgot the the last quote on the about text so let's save that and try again okay so now we have a menu here now we need to make sure everything works home about blog contact mm -hmm. and resources so we have a working navigation menu and you can see it's on every page and it's on every page because it's actually in the layout file it's not in a view if we just had this in a view file, then we would have to include it in every single view on our site. So, um, yeah, so now we can actually start focusing on implementing the templates so we can make our site look like this. So we, we're getting there. Um, that's the end of this section, uh, and I'll see you in the next.